the master-servant relationship in a very interesting dynamic. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today I'm here to talk to you about Lovers in the Night by Fuyo Yuko, uh, Yashinagi. We shall read the back and we shall delve into the nitty gritty. Lovers in the Night. Hired as a servant by an aristocrat's family, Claude works hard to take care for the family that took care took him in. But when the master of the household and his wife eventually pass away, Claude must keep the spoiled son Anton in line and teach him the, to be a proper gentleman. As the two become closer, a forbidden love develops between them. Famed boy love mangeka Fumi Yoshinagi, the creator of Gerard and Jacquois and Antique Bakery, has crafted a tale of young lovers flourishing against all odds. This is rated M for Mature. It is published by Blue Manga. Now, let's talk about this. Art style-wise, it, it reminds me a lot of her other works, so the Jack, uh, Gerald Jacquars. It is very pretty. It is very well detailed. It is nice to look at. I am fast-forwarding over some adult bits and showing you what it has entail inside. Now, the art style is very pretty. It is a... I don't want to say dated, because dated is the wrong word, but it is not the modern kind of shonen eye androgynous style that we have a lot today. It is a very much so more, I guess, harsh drawn reality. Everybody looks like how they're supposed to. There's masculine and there's feminine. Even the androgynous characters, I mean androgynous characters, don't look that androgynous to me. They, they're they clearly masculine and they're clearly feminine. Um, they're pretty, clearly pretty, but they're neither towards either side. Now, I like the art style. It's nice. It doesn't distract from the overall story. Now, the story kind of works how the back says the young man that is hired actually worked at a brothel. He was entertaining one of the master's servants. The servant sees him and says, hey, how would you like to get out of here and make 20% more than you make here and go work in a noble household? Um, he goes to Noble Household, they teach him how to read, how to write, how to cook, how to do everything that he needs to to survive in the Noble Society realm. He is supposed to be half Chinese, so he is. Uh, there's a lot of derogatory terms thrown at him, which are not very PC nowadays. But it gives you a sense, roughly, of how they w might have treated them overall. He's supposed to be very dashing, very alluring. Well, the Master ends up having a son... And then his wife dies, and then the master dies of TB a few years later. And the son is now 15. I think um, at this point, oh, what's his name? Claude is maybe in his 20s. And the two end up, it becomes a servant-master relationship where one takes care of the other. One fated evening, the nobleman's son, I think his name was Antoine, um, he ends up going to a party in Paris where he is assaulted by a, another noble from Italy. It kind of steamrolls from there. The master-servant relationship becomes rather odd. The servant is actually the top, the master is the bottom, and very submissive to the servant. Which isn't unique in these stories, it's just... It seemed a little odd for this one. The plotline steamrolls along, the French Revolution happens, they end up in another country, and well off enough that neither one of them really truly has to work for the rest of their life as long as they're wise with their money. Now, it was a good story. I would not say it is a must-have. It is not necessarily a must-read. It was a nostalgia kick for me. I miss Blue Publishing a lot. I, I mean, I, I just liked Blue Manga quite a bit. I liked a lot of the stories they picked up. They picked up a lot of very fun stories. And that goes hand-in-hand hand with I Miss Tokyo Pop because they are pretty much the same people. So yes, I would say you don't have to pick this up. If you see it online and you can read it online, I would go there with this. So yes, if you guys have read this before, let me know your opinion. Give me a like, a favorite, subscribe, share this with a friend who likes Yaoi, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. You like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!